but let's just address this topic of canceling your contract with the builder because uh, they have increased the prices of their homes, whether the price increased by $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, or $50,000, you really have to think about it, right? If you canceled your home that you put under contract maybe January, February, or December, it's currently in the building process. Yes, there's been frustration. Yes, there's been delays. And then, of course, the builders all of a sudden decided to increase their prices. If you canceled your contract and you say, for instance, you had a house under contract like one of our clients for $247,000, they wanted to go up. 40,000 but of course having a great realtor by your side we were able to negotiate a $20,000 increase that home today if you were to cancel and try to buy it with the same builder or a similar home or style it's going to run you over $300,000 so you just have to think about it yes there's frustrations but when you close on your home there's a strong possibility that you're going to have equity in the home that you're buying because the home that you have under contract has increased so much um, for someone to actually put it under contract today. I had a client who asked me, I can't believe that this is possible. I can't believe we got the email. But keep in mind, the builders themselves are also having challenges as well as the buyers. They don't make any money they only make money when they close on deals, right? So they haven't been able to close on some of their homes because of the prices that have gone up and delayed in materials. And so they're feeling the pressure. They're passing the um, pressure down to the buyers. But keep in mind, when you get ready to purchase your home and you're closed on your home, you're gonna be excited about it in the midst of all the frustrations. Like I said, it's a personal decision whether you cancel your contract or decide to move forward but this is also one of the most critical reasons why it's imperative to have a realtor who understand new construction who understand contracts to help guide you through the new construction process these last several months have been crazy for us who have buyers that are actually purchasing new construction but there is a brighter side to everything yeah the market is picking up builders are trying to produce more as the cities and country opens up more hopefully the supply chain will get better but I also had a comment from a buyer who said how could this be possible how can builders actually just cancel contracts let me just give you a little tidbit it's not just about the builders I have a background working in corporate America where I've negotiated multi-million dollar contracts year over year and one of the things that we did in corporate America our legal staff always reminded us is that they put clauses in contracts right for natural disasters world issues pandemic and those clauses allow the owners and the you know people of the company to cancel those contracts because you really have no idea what's going to happen so I had to remind my buyer it's not just about the builders canceling the contracts I mean there's unforeseeable um, clauses there's unforeseeable issues there's them um, not possibly making money when COVID was there of course there's so many things that have gone wrong in these unprecedented times and the more they can't close on a house the more money they don't make so we have to think about that as well I definitely hear from my buyers it's been a journey so I definitely wanted to at least set the right expectation whether you're under contract just right now you have to have patience if you're a new person looking to buy you definitely need a realtor by your side to help you look and negotiate and really understand the lead time with the builders and where their challenges are if for my clients who are relocating who are in town this week super excited for them we're going to look at new construction and resale. It is really about putting the patience on at this moment to get through this journey. There are homes for purchase. There are builders that are still building. There are buyers that are out there and they want 
their homes. So the good part is things are picking up. It's really about being positive. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions uh, at all, feel free to reach out to us here at Natasha Carroll Realty. You can also follow us on our Facebook page, Natasha Carroll Realty, our YouTube channel, Natasha Carroll Realty. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out.